made a video on QB shops, but there's an updated version where some things are different and people are having issues. So I've updated to the newer version and I'll be showing you how to add items to your existing shops and how to make custom shops. For the video, I'll be adding cigarettes to the 24-7 stores and making a mechanic-based shop where players can buy repair kits, harnesses, and other items like that. I'll leave links in the description to the updated resource as well as the websites for PEDs, blips, icons, scenarios, and the MLO that was used. I hope you enjoy the video. When adding items to your shops, you need to decide which shop you want to add the items to and what the items are. Once everything is decided, we're going to go into our server resources. We're going to go to QB, QB Core, Shared, and we're going to open the items. Once we're in here, we're going to search for the items we want by using Control F. I'm adding cigarettes, so I'll just search for cigs. And then we want to remember the name over here on the left in the brackets. Next, we're going to go back to our server resources and go into QB Shops. And then we're going to open the config. All right, once we're in here, we're going to focus on the config.product section. The name of the brackets determines what shop the items below belong to. So normal is for the 24-7 convenience stores or the gas station stores. Liquor is for the liquor store and hardware is for the hardware store. Since I'll be adding cigarettes, I'm going to stay in the normal section. And what we're going to do is go to whatever is last and copy that. Hit enter and paste. And from there, we'll go ahead and start renaming stuff. So the number in the bracket has to be in numerical order. So if the last one was nine, this one is 10. And where it says slot, this number has to match the number in the brackets. Where it says name is where we'll put the item name we just looked up. So redwood six, the price, whatever you want, and the amount, whatever you want, however much you want in the shop. Now I have a couple I want to add, so I'll just keep repeating this step until I'm done. Alright, so once you've added what you need to add, we're going to hit File and Save. And then we're going to start your server and test it out. Alright, so we're in the server. We're going to head and buy the cigarettes. So all three of them are here in the shop. And we're able to purchase them, so everything is working fine. When adding a custom store, you need to figure out what type of store you want to add and what products you want to sell. To find the products, we're going to do the step we previously did. So we're going to go to our server resources, go into QB, go to QB Core, Shared, and then Open Items. From here, we're going to hit Control F and look for the items we want to add. So Once you find the items you're looking for, remember the name we want to remember is the one all the way on the left in the brackets. Once you found the names, we're going to go back to QB Shops and open the config. Alright, once we're in the config, at the top is one of the new features that implements the QB Trucker job. If you want, you can have your shop's inventory and stock amount dependent on players making deliveries by changing this to true. If you don't have a high player account or you don't have people willing to do this, I recommend keeping it at false or you risk the chance of your stores running empty. The firearms license check mostly applies to the weapons store, so we don't really need to do anything with that. Now, we do need to make our own product section, so I recommend keeping it at the top somewhere. I'll just add it under the liquor store. So I'll copy everything in the liquor store, hit enter it and paste it, and then from here I'll rename it. So I'll call this Mech since I'm doing a mechanic type thing. The items, you again, you'll put here what we just looked for. So I'll do a harness. I'll do a repair kit. Advanced repair kit. And then I'll do a cleaning kit. Now, in each section, you can choose the price of everything and the amount of everything you want in each store. Just because it's a tutorial, I'm just leaving it how it is, basically. 
Alright, so that's all I need to do up here. Next, we're going to scroll down until we get to the config.locations. This next part, you will need the links in the description for the pads, flips, and the icons. So I'll just keep scrolling down. And I'll add my shop after the last liquor store. So we'll copy this one. Hit enter and then paste. And then again, we're going to rename everything. So I'll call this Mech One. No space. The label is what shows up on the map, so we'll just do here shop. We'll skip the chords for now, and for the pads, go ahead and click the link in the description that takes you to the ped models. And we'll look for one that matches the purpose of our shop. I'll actually do this one. Just copy the name. I'm going to go back and we're going to paste it. Now there's another link in the description that takes you to the scenario list, so we're going to go to that. And we're just going to choose one. We'll do this one. So again, we're going to copy this and then go back and paste it. Now for the icon, that's another link in the description. You, when you're here, you can search or just browse what they have. So I'll do Lynch and pick this one. So once we're here, you can just copy this, go back and paste it. And then just remove everything we don't need, of course. Okay, the target label is what will say next to the icon, so you can leave it at open shop or change it to what you want. Config.products is going to be what we named the previous section. Go to Mac. Show blip is true, the blip sprite. We can look for a blip. Well, that's the hardware store, so we'll do 446. This is just the size. You can leave it the same or change it. Um, and the color for the blips is going to be on the same website that the blips are on. So we'll do... I'll do 81. And we'll skip the delivery for now. So next we need to find a location for the shop. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll come back to this. All right, so once you're in the server and you're in the spot where you want the pet to be, we're gonna type slash admin, go down to developer options and copy the vector four. You're gonna go back to the QB shops config and paste that there. Now the del delivery locations, if you chose to keep that trucker job part enabled, you can put it in the back at a side door, just anywhere you want. It's just whether we bring the shipment in, if you will. So I'll just put it over here in this random spot. Again, copy the vector four, go to the QB shops config, and paste it there. From there, that's all you need to do. You can hit file and save, restart your server, and test it out. All right. So as you can see, we're in the server, and our guy is there. Right. So everything is working fine. Thank you for watching. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you have any questions or have suggestions, feel free to comment down below.